Okay, there we go. There. So much for that. I got my I got my power whip on there now. You call it a power whip. It's a pigtail. That's what you call that. Okay? And more times than not, this should give you plenty. Okay? It was set it was seven foot nine. And uh, it just so happens that the front, this is on the front uh, right corner, and my hole is on the right hand side, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna have plenty of cord to plug in underneath the sink. And, and when I get ready to plug that in, I may route that cord or roll it up kind of underneath the sink so I don't have all that excess all zigzaggy all around underneath. I'll probably I'll probably do that to the garbage disposal one too. See I just kind of left it loose down there but I could I can uh, disconnect it and roll it like that or something or move that closer. I could put a strap up against the wall so that this cord is going straight up against the wall and have it looped and screw it there. That gives you, it just makes your your cabinet a little bit cleaner when you get all said and done. Then you can store more things in there and it just looks all nice. Okay? Alright. On to the next step and I think that has to do with installing the water line. Now here's a tip for you. If you're, if you're removing your old dishwasher, maybe if your dishwasher is still in good condition, maybe you sell it. And I sold mine. I would put it on, um, I was going to put it on Craigslist, but I put it on Facebook Marketplace. And so that's why, that's why I didn't take the uh, pigtail off. I didn't take the the uh, hose out from before. And there's something very important that if you're gonna if you're gonna use all your parts from your old dishwasher, you want to make sure you remove this. This is very important because you've got to tighten that up first before you install your dishwasher line onto it, okay? And um, if you don't do that, the new dishwasher does not come with it. Now, we had to pay, I had to pay extra for all of this, and it came, it came with this other part. Now, this, this part happens to be if you're hooking it to a utility sink or something like that, or maybe to your, your faucet, and then you, and then you can uh, do something slightly different. Uh, tighten it tighten it down screw this on here put the washer on and then screw your clamp onto there if you don't have a place uh, a hookup underneath there or it's a standalone dishwasher then you can hook it up to your sink let's say you get a different faucet connection on the end or utility sink and um, you do all that so see all, all of this all of this stuff I'm, I'm not using any of that you know all I'm going to use is, is this. And before I put that in, I've got some, uh, I've got some, uh, oh, what do you call it? My Teflon tape. Where is my Teflon tape? Here it is. Grab my Teflon tape. And Teflon tape, if you've never done this before, comes in a little roll like that. Okay, this stuff is, is really thin. See, and I'm going to wrap that around the threads of this thing before I screw it into the um, the new dishwasher. I I mean I'm sure I am. I'm I'm going to look at the directions. This it could be plastic. It could have something else over there. But I I have a feeling that's going to screw in, and I'm going to need that Teflon tape. Okay, and I'm going to say I'm going to save these for right now. I, I might be able to use them for this job. When I tie things up underneath the sink for the, the dishwasher drain, let's say. So I got three white ties and I got and I got my black tie. Okay? And if I don't use them all, of course, am I gonna save whatever I don't use? Yes. Every once in a while I could use one of these ties for something. And if you don't save them, 
The next time you get ready to do something, you're gonna need a, you're gonna need a little wire tie. You're gonna be like, yeah, you're gonna hear me talking and sounding in your ear. That, yep. Video Joe said I'm gonna need that one of these days, and sure enough, I'm gonna need it. So I'm gonna straighten this out. I'm gonna look at the directions, and I believe that connection is on the other side of this dishwasher. So I'll lift the dishwasher up, get it all set up, okay. So that I can, I can comfortably show you how to hook that up. Now, one more thing having to do with this pigtail. If you're removing your old dishwasher, you're going to replace your dishwasher with a new dishwasher, let's say. Maybe you decide you're going to use the old pigtail and you're going to use the old water line and all that kind of stuff. If so, Make sure out of that metal box you take the little Romex connector out of it. And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna show you what that, what that looks like in the directions. See there? That's what I call a Romex connector. It fits in the box and then you tighten it up on the back side. And then there's uh, two screws there. You put the wire through there and then you clamp that down. And that's what holds onto that box. Lucky for me, you don't need one of those when you install something brand new nowadays. Okay, if you get the right pigtail at the store for a dishwasher. All right, onward to the water line. Hey, I urge you to read the directions step by step because they don't get installed like they used to. Let me tell you, remember I told you it's vital to take this off your old dishwasher because you're probably going to need it on your new dishwasher? Well, chances are I don't think I'm going to need this after all. I'll get down there and show you here in a second. I've got I've to look at these hoses and the drain line, the drain line is off to the left and here's the water connection down here on to the left. If we look at the at this dishwasher to the front, we're gonna see those connections are on the left and we've got the hole on the right, don't we? Way over to the right. We're gonna, we're gonna push the wires through there. So, um, by reading, reading the directions, I found out a couple different interesting things. We've gotta set this down on its side now. And, We've got to, we've got to kind of take a look at this. This is a little Velcro thing that's just holding this for uh, well, until you move it, and then when you get down there, you're not going to need that Velcro thing because, see, ultimately, this drain line has to go down low, and there's a little, there's a little catch down here where you can hook that on. I don't think I'm gonna use it though, but you see right there? And you can adjust that. They say pinch that and you can adjust it down three, three uh, different areas. One here, one here, and where it is. And that's about five and a half inches up. And my hole is between six and eight inches. So I don't think I'm gonna use that because if I click it in there, then it might be just a hair too low and it might be in the way for me to get this hose through there, okay? And so now let's look at this. Uh, so I may, not, I may not need that little thing. I, I may leave it there or I can pinch it and take it out. And then this is just gonna kind of fit down along that and go through my hole, see? To the side of the cabinet. I can't necessarily put it towards the back because then it might not fit into the cabinet. But you see here, I was like, what the heck? And you take this off and there's your, there's your connection. And see, in the old days, this used to fit right where those connections were. Well, it's not going to fit, is it? That's not going to fit in there. And this, this was hooked up in here like that so I, I was kind of I was kind of reading those directions and 
Then um, in your direction booklet, uh, you've, got, you've got more directions. And see, this, this came in that container uh, along with this fitting. This was screwed on the dishwasher, okay? And so this technically, you see there, it's got, it's got that on there. Technically, you could, you could screw that right on the back side and it shows it right here. But then in another area, it shows you using this, this connector right there, okay? Shows you how, how to use that, but then see on the other one, it shows that different one, okay? So I was wrong. I thought you could hook this onto a sink or utility sink or something like that, but uh, not the case because we're gonna end up having to connect that. And I think I'm gonna use this like they tell you and see, this just pushes out with that with the rubber gasket like a hose like a hose connection there you see and then take this nut off and this is designed if you have quarter inch uh, copper tubing or 3 8 or whatever whatever the standard size is okay all right are you with me so far I'm gonna take that off I don't even think we're gonna use that and now they say to push this one out and slip this in there like that and then put this washer back in there okay like so and then we're going to tighten that down and then the hose they gave me is going to connect right onto that like that now they tell you uh, you don't well they tell you to use Teflon tape or pipe dope um, for your fittings but this actually has a little rubber gasket in there lots of times you shouldn't have to use anything for this to not leak but I'm gonna end up putting the Teflon tape just to be on the safe side okay and so I can take this let me just get you down here for a minute I'm gonna adjust uh, no tricks. I'm gonna adjust this uh, tripod. And we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it down. Get me a little dizzy. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna. I can take this now. That this is attached on there. See. And then I'm just gonna screw it on here. And then this will swivel until you tighten this down. Okay. And I'm going to take some pliers and kind of crank on that, but see, this is, this is uh, plastic to plastic, and they tell you don't over tighten that. Even if you're going to use, even if you were going to use this fitting, okay, on there, there's only so tight you want to do it because then it could start moving the plastic threads that are on the back side, and they tell you they say, they caution you, make sure not to over tighten that. And so see this, this hose is going to come down in here. I don't want, I don't want that coming down directly there because see, then that, that's going to be kind of in my way. And this is out. And so I'm going to take this and uh, I can loosen that up a little. And then this is going to kind of go at that angle about like that okay I'm like I'm, I'm kind of liking that about there okay. now I can I'll uh, I'll tighten that geez see I'm moving I'm moving that back and forth but it's the uh, but it's the actual plastic threads on the other side I'm going to give that a little bit of a turn, okay? And then this is going to go on. This is going to go on like like this. You got to kind of wiggle it and hold your mouth just right to get it to go. 
Now I'm not going to tighten that just yet. I'm going to kind of uh, position that, maybe maybe something like that. Okay, about there. And I'm going to wrap this with uh, Teflon tape. I think is what I'm going to do. But you see that? That's pretty snug. But I'll I'll uh, I'll get in there with a uh, with some channel locks, maybe maybe channel locks. I've got just my regular pliers. Yeah, I don't think I want to. Well, I guess I could. Boy, I almost need a second person here to. Last thing I want to do is over tighten it, and it's got that. It's got that. Uh, plastic, plastic threads. It just doesn't seem like a very, a very good way to do that, huh? Okay. Now, now I think I'll, uh, I'll wrap this with some Teflon tape, just to be on the safe side, okay? Like I say, you probably, if you don't have any Teflon tape, and if, and if this is a brand new one, chances are it's not gonna leak, but I don't wanna take the dishwasher out later on and find out it's leaking and have to mess with it later, you know what I mean? And so, uh, I think I'm gonna be safe rather than sorry. That's just kind of like, uh, more than likely, it's not going to leak, but if it were to leak, it won't leak with the Teflon tape on there. So my Teflon tape is just a backup, and it's a good thing to do if you got it around. Before we go to the next step, if you've got a dishwasher and it, and it requires this fitting here, you want to put the Teflon tape on exactly how I showed you how to do it over there. And then you're not gonna go with that type of end, okay? You're gonna go with this, put the Teflon tape on there, get it nice and tight, and then you'll want this directed uh, whichever way your pipe's gonna go. You'll have to tighten it up exactly that way. And this is, this is a little bit more tricky because if you got it tight all the way up to there, but yet you want this outlet to be down here. Now you're gonna to have to crank it over some more and some more and some more, hoping that it doesn't mess up your threads and all that kind of stuff. Well, isn't that funny? I'm not even gonna use that this time. I'm glad I read those directions and I've got, I've got these parts and I, I'm gonna, I'll probably end up saving that. I'll, I'll save all my little parts and keep it with the dishwasher in case I ever need them for something else. I know I've got a washer there. And, and stuff like that, okay? Read your directions and do it right.